What's up, y'all? So I asked you guys on Instagram and YouTube which video you want to see first. A makeup tutorial as far as your foundation application with concealer or your eyebrows. Alright, and I'm gonna do both for y'all. But you guys want to see an everyday easy, well, I want to say easy because I know a lot of beginners follow me. And most of my videos, if you're new to my channel, are based off of... Uh, I want to say cheap products, but affordable products and very basic makeup videos because I feel like that's how we all learn when we start from the basics. Can't nobody all bake. We all can't contour. And it's okay. You can still get a nice face. Everything I'm using in this video is from the drug store. Can I get an amen? Amen. But yes, everything I'm using is from the drug store, the hair store. Somewhere, and it's all under $12. Each product is under $12. Most of you guys requested that I do a makeup look for oily skin. So I learned over the years, just because I'm oily does not mean I need to saturate my face with oil preventing product. We our moisturizer before we put on our makeup, and this is by Shea Moisture. It's called Skin Rescue. This is a hydrating type moisturizer. It's supposed to just hydrate your face without leaving oil. A lot of times I run into issues where I used to use all of these matte moisturizers, matte primers, matte this, matte that, where I would dry out my face and my skin would overproduce oil. So that's why you end up getting so oily after you're saying to yourself, I use all these oil preventing products, why is my face so oily? That's probably why, because you use way too much oil preventing products in your face. So it's really good to get a really good moisturizing moisturizer that does not leave your face oily. So you're just gonna apply this. Make sure you always apply your makeup to a clean face. Once I put my moisturizer on, I just like to press it in like this. The next thing you want to do is always have a good primer. Now, these primers that I'm using, they aren't my go-to primers. However, they're all my go-to primers when I'm trying to stick to my budget and stick to drugstore-based products. So we all remember Maybelline's Baby Skin back in the day. This is an instant pore eraser. Yes, I still pick this up, y'all. I don't know something about it. I just pick it up. Now, it's not the best. However, it's under $6, and it'll get the job done for what we're trying to get done in this video. We're also going to go in with our infallible matte lock by L'Oreal Paris. This is going to be for our T-zone area. I haven't really had issues with this primer. I haven't used it in a couple months. But I remember when I did buy it originally, I didn't have a problem with this line at all. So we're going to use this primer as well. So we want to make sure our pores are nice and smoothed out because we don't want to see our makeup sinking into our pores. As you can see, I do have pores. I need to get a facial actually. But that's because I've been living like a uh, hoodlum for the past couple weeks. So I had just been like, forget my skincare, not into it. So we're gonna apply this in this area right here. Ooh. We're just gonna pat that in. This is gonna give us a, a smooth canvas to work with to smooth out those lines. Again, this is not the best on the market. And this can get a little oily, so that's why I say use at your own discretion. So that's why I'm using two primers. I'm gonna go in with our L'Oreal, and we're gonna put this in our T-zone area. It's very important to make sure your T-zone area is man is magnified. Magnified, magnified, magnified. I know I cannot talk. Make sure you put this in the oily parts of your face, okay? How, how about that? I'm not gonna go in details with these eyebrows because I actually want to show you guys how I maintain my eyebrows during this quarantine. So that'll be the following video. I'm gonna fast forward through this part, don't worry. I'm gonna do a very slow, detailed eyebrow video for you guys, but I just wanna get past this because it's not really what this video is about. But you wanna make sure that you do your eyebrows.
All right, so once we have our eyebrows on, honey, and look what this $2 eyebrow pencil did. We got some eyebrows. So for my skin, I personally, just me, use two foundations. Now, I can get away with one of them. I can get away with the coconut, with this one, okay? However, I like to use two. I use two because we are all different colors as dark-skinned women, even light-skinned women. We aren't the same color, and years ago, I used to think I was crazy because I'll go to Mac and they sit there and tell me I'm NW45. Y'all know my old videos. I used to be like, that's not my color, thinking I'm crazy. But really, I'm like three different shades. Everybody is at least two colors. That's how I feel. You can get away with one color if you are skilled with blending your foundations and mixing and matching your concealers and all that stuff. So me personally, get the one color that's close to your skin tone and work with it. However, if you want to go ahead and just get two colors that works best for you, you can do that too. So coconut, this one is... This is the color that I can get away with on my entire face if I contour and add powder and all that stuff. Mocha is a little too dark for me and this can kind of dry a little a little gray. I don't know if you can tell but this is how mocha looks when it's completely dry. So this can't be all over my face because it's not my color. So we're going to take our coconut. You see this? And coconut is a little red as well but it ends up looking really nice at the end of the day. So we're gonna take coconut, as you can see how it looks on my skin, and we're going to apply coconut in the inner part of our face. And you don't have to use a lot of this. I actually put a lot on my hand because this doesn't have like a skirt or a pump thing. So you kind of may use more than you need, but you can always scoop it back into the bottom. So you just want to focus on the outside, I mean the inner part of our face. See where it stops at? So we're gonna go right here in this area on our chin. Now some people are darker in this area. As you can see, like, see how right here? See how dark I am in this area? So this is where my mocha will go. So right now I'm basically focusing on everything the light hits on my face. But you guys know your own face, so everybody's face has their own target area. These are just mine where I apply the lighter, um, the lighter foundation on. As you can see, we just added it here, over our eyelids, under our eye, and we did it in an outward motion, like this, outward motion. So this is mocha. We don't need a lot of this at all, because we're just going to do it on the outside. We don't really want to get this color in the inside, so you can see how this is what we use, and this is like slightly darker, just slightly darker than coconut. Now you can use the same brush if you want to. I'm gonna use a different brush just for the sake of this video so it's not confusing to you guys. So on this darker part, you see, right in this area, we're gonna apply mocha. Now the only reason why I applied it showing you this 
line of demarcation is because just to give you a better idea of how I'm actually applying the foundation. When you do it yourself and get used to it, you'll be able to just put this on with no problem. But I'm trying to do it in this way so you guys can see the difference. So what I'm doing is taking the coconut that we applied in the inner part of our face. I'm just going over some areas that I feel like I need to cover again. Now again, this is just for an everyday look. Sometimes I like everyday looks to look like my natural skin. So I understand I still have bags under my eyes, things like that. I have a, a few imperfections shining through my face, which I'm totally okay with. However, when it comes to correcting dark marks and all that, it gets a little more confusing. And that requires correctors and different techniques. So we're not gonna worry about the bags. We're just focusing strictly on a natural, easy going face. So next thing we're gonna do is go back into our LA Girl and Fawn. As you can see, I use Fawn for my eyebrows and you see how nice it looks. It doesn't look highlight or anything like that. So that's why I love using this color for my skin tone. And we're just gonna take this and we're going to apply it under our eye area in an outward motion. The real techniques version of the beauty blender. So I'm gonna use this one because you get this at the drugstore. You kinda gotta go to Ulta and order the real beauty blenders from certain stores. So we're gonna go with this one. So you're gonna take it and you're gonna dab it in. Try to not go past your eyebrows if you can. That's the best way I can kinda guide you. Is try not to go too far past this area. As you can see, I'm going up in my lid area because a lot of us do have darker lids, similar to areas around our mouth that can be a little darker. So this will also brighten your face up too when you go in with this concealer on your eyelids as well. So basically, I just did almost like a C application right in this area, still not going past this too much. Probably went up a little bit, it's just a habit. I know how to blend it out, but try not to go past your eyebrow tip if you can. So here's a tip. When it comes to blending out concealer and you get a little worried when you get right here, you know how it's like still concealer showing and you're just like, what am I supposed to do with this line sitting right here after you done blended your life away? Go back into that foundation brush. Do not add foundation to it. Go back into that brush and just blend out those edges. Blend them out. Again, we don't want a beak face. We want a natural everyday face. So if your imperfections are still showing, that's fine. We don't want nothing too makeup looking. When I do this technique and do this foundation like this, people just like, your skin is like so nice and smooth. They just don't really mention the makeup, although I know they probably know I have makeup on, versus some foundation looks, you kind of like, oh my God, what makeup are you wearing? This is more like, oh my God, your face looks nice today. So now here's the fun part. So this is a setting powder, a little messy, cause it is. It is the HD 
Set and Forget Sanding Powder by Ruby Kisses from the hair store. This color is called Earth. It's really yellow, so like I said, if you get this powder, make sure you kind of see which one's best for you. They had several different shades, but I got this one called Earth. It works for me because it sets more of a natural look instead of a highlighting look. Make sure you get some powder on your beauty blender. And you don't want to take a lot because we're not baking, we just want to set it. And we're going back into every part of our face that we added that concealer. Again, we're not so much highlighting it, we just want to set it. So once you apply this powder on your face, go ahead and dust it off, girl. Get it off your face. Get it off. We don't want it on your face. You don't want to sit it on that. Just take it off. Take it. It's better to take it off immediately before you have too much powder on your face that you can't really figure out what to do with. So just go ahead and brush it off. And since we're not using any eyeshadow, I like to go into the setting powder. And I just like to take a little fluffy brush like this and just go over our eye area because we also want to set our eyelids again this is for oily girls so our eyelids get a little bit oily so it's okay to go ahead and set those as well our next step we want to go ahead and just bronze our face a little bit instead of contouring I feel like bronzing our face give us some color without doing too much. So I'm using my CoverGirl Queen collection. They don't sell this anymore. They, well, they do sell this powder color. However, it's in the Spectrum collection, but I'll talk about that later. So take a contour brush, go into it, and just hit the areas of your face. Oh, old school. Do like this. Hit those areas. See how I just warm my face up? If you want to be fancy, you can even drag this bronzer over to your eyelid if you want to be a little fancy, but that's optional. This is going to give us some more depth in this area, as you can see. Oh girl, look at you. You all bronzed up. You all set in the face. You see that? Yes. Eyebrows is laid, honey. Yes, girl. I love this blush. This is almond, toasted almond. One of my favorites. And we're gonna go right here. And I prefer using a blush that's more like the neutral tone color or like an earthy tone versus like a pink or a red. You want something that's more of a blendable blush. Some of you guys mentioned Nika K. I still use Nika K products from the hair stuff. So this one is a highlight set. The code is ND001. So I'll put that in the description, but this is what it looks like. I'm gonna take a brush like this. this is a stippling brush. I'm just gonna add that on our cheeks this is just extra not mandatory and i honestly would do this before i set my face but my face is like it's already set because of the primer we use i forgot i had to set my face too so do this after you set your face actually i'm gonna hold ahead and set my face before i forget <laughs> now this powder is comparable to my mac yes mac studio fix powder this is a dupe i've been using this for years look at that pickup look at that pickup look at that Look at nothing, something that quick. I'm gonna dust this over, and this is basically setting our entire face, getting to that neck, getting to that jawline, that chin. It's gonna blend everything out, make us look all the way put together, sis.
So once we put our powder on, you're done. However, my lips is real crusty, so we're gonna add a little natural look to this look. So you wanna take a napkin, cause sometimes when you're doing your powders and stuff, it just goes in your lip area. And it can kinda manipulate the color of the lipstick you're gonna use. So I'm just gonna take a napkin and just wipe my lips off. Okay, y'all, so one thing about this. This is not drugstore, okay? I lost the drugstore one that I was using. I don't know where it is, so I had to just pull this one out of my makeup bag. This is by Kylie's Cosmetics, and I got it as a gift. And I really like this lip liner color. I talked about this on my Instagram tonight. These Black Radian News, oh my God, they are amazing. I may do a separate video on these. I bought these for $4.59 at Walgreens and they're worth every single penny. I've been dying to find like the perfect nude. So out of all these three, I think I'm gonna use the one that looks more of a true brown color and this one's called Sexy Siren. So we're gonna use this one. Y'all, I am obsessed. You see these lips? <laughs> Do you see these? This is like my skin color. I've never had a nude so. Oh my God. Do y'all see? Y'all not seeing this. Are y'all seeing this? Do y'all see how this color is melting in my skin right now? This is, this is everything. This, this, these lips. These lips, now, I don't know who all gonna watch this video, but I'm just letting y'all know Black Radiance, y'all know y'all my peoples. If these go up any more than what it costs now, just cut me my check, cause I'm about to sell these to everybody. Everybody, every brown girl is gonna have one of these when I'm done with it. When I'm done with this, every brown girl is gonna have one of these. Yeah, I'm sorry. I need some mascara because I just needed something else going on with this look. Because this look got me lit right now. So I had to put on some mascara. All right, y'all. So we are done with our face. Yes, honey. You know it's real when I let the locks down. Girl. See, y'all can do it. I don't know why y'all be doubting y'all stuff. Like, y'all don't know what y'all doing. Like, I know y'all know what y'all doing. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. This is just... My everyday beat, I don't have no liner on, I don't have no big ass lashes on, I ain't got nothing like that on. It's just super, super natural looking. This lipstick is just setting me off right now, like, whew. I have all the information below of everything I use. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'll be back with that eyebrow tutorial. I will see y'all later.